Hey podcasters, Ryan Otto here. Before today's episode, I just want to let you all know that I've gone all in shortletting on booking.com. Back in 05, the returns were good, but nothing like what we're achieving 14 years later. Because right now, every £1,000 of market rent I used to receive from a tenant is now returning £3,000 per month on the exact same rental property, which is a rental increase of 199%. My friends, if you leave a podcast review and tag me with it on any social platform, I'll send you a free copy of my rent arbitrage model, which is the unlocked for you to do the same. And right now, guys, it's completely free. Now, let's assume you don't know the door number. The image on right move, okay? Remember, let's go back to right move. Remember on right move, we were searching here to see if we had the door number. That one had the door number, number five, but this one hasn't. 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 Nor is this one or this one. Okay, so many of them don't have the door number. Some do, but some don't. So, Assuming they don't have the door number displayed, what you can do is the image on right move, it shows the property and it shows the location on the map. So you can find out what street the property's on. You can find out the name of the street in seconds using the map at the bottom or on the page of right move. Alternatively, you can go to Google Maps. You can then search for the street. You can see outside the building using Google Maps and the Google Street View. Now, let's assume that you can match the pictures on Rightmove to the Google Map images. You can usually now zoom in to reveal the door number and you can see it from any laptop or any device, okay? Now, using the door name or street name, okay, you can use the Royal Mail website like I just showed you to find the full postal address in a range and you can narrow it down to the right property or the right block if it's a block of apartments. Now, if all else fails, you can revert to the old methods. Now, this is simply by driving down the particular street, using the images on right move, and you can work out the door number just by taking a look. Now, sometimes you will need to use a description in the advert on right move to find out more information so you can find out is the exact location in the street of the property. You can get an idea of the position of the apartment in the building or the floor number it's on by simply looking at the views in the pictures, look at the location from the pictures, read the advert, read the description because it will reveal a lot about the property or the apartment. It may say ground floor. It may say views over the park. It may say penthouse. It may say seventh floor. So all of these things in the description are clues for you to find out the door number. Okay. So now you have the full address. You have the owner's name that I just showed you for three pounds on the land registry search. So what else is left? All you now need to do is go and knock on the door. Simple. Speak to the owner or if it's a tenant, if it's a permanently rented property, they will usually know the name and the address and the contact details of the owner because it's on the tenancy agreement, right? So let's assume it's not managed by a letting agent. The tenants are in direct contact with the owner, with the landlord. Now that is even better for you. Now you can simply incentivize the tenant, the current tenant, to put you in contact with their landlord, the owner. Now it's absolutely up to you what story you use here. But what usually works is you saw the property advertised to rent on the internet. You wanted to arrange a viewing because you're keen to rent in this particular road for whatever reason. And the landlord will save hundreds of pounds by avoiding those letting agents and those ridiculous fees that are actually banned now. So it's likely that the tenants you're talking to will agree if they were found using an agent and they were charged the overpriced agent's fees, £200, 
or even as much as £400 in application fees. Now, usually, you will get the number here, or they will call the owners or the landlord themselves on the spot, or send them a message, and they will pass on your number to their landlord. Now, if they just say to you, can you just go to the agent, what we found works best here is if you say, mm, the agent charges all of these money for nothing fees, which we all know are banned, but they've still asked me to pay these other fees. So I'd rather share the fee they've asked me to pay them with you if you can just put me in contact with the landlord who would also save a lot of money by letting directly to me. What do you think? So how much do you think it will be fair if you just introduced me to your landlord and if I rented the property successfully, I would pay you £50? What about £100? What about even £200? That's still less than the agent's fees they're trying to charge me. All I need is their number or if you can have the landlord call me if you prefer that. It makes sense, guys, to offer a reasonable amount of money to the tenant because this is entirely up to you. Remember, every £1,000 in AST rent which you pay, that is worth approximately £3,000 in revenue, which is arbitrage revenue, by taking the property out of the AST market and putting it into the short letting market. So if you can imagine, you've got around about a £2,000 a month margin to play with. So you can offer the tenant whatever referral fee you feel is necessary to get that deal, to get that landlord's number, to get him on the phone, to get him or her to call you. Does that make sense? Now, if there's nobody in to the property or nobody at the rental property, you would knock on the neighbor's door. Now, the neighbors can reveal and they know a great deal about their neighbors, especially the owners, not tenants, the owners. Now, a usual example I'll give you here, what we get when you're knocking the door, this is what you'll probably find, okay? So they'll say, obviously, you're knocking on the door to a neighbor's property. They'll probably say, oh, that flat belongs to Doris. Oh, Doris, she's a lovely lady, but she's had a terrible time with tenants. She's had a terrible ordeal with, like, these problem tenants and... Oh, I know what she would give to find a good tenant who would just look after her property. She's always said to me she's looking for that. Just some nice people to not give her any hassle. Oh, you seem so nice. Let, let me, I've got her number. Let me talk to Doris and I'll see if she's coming today, dear. Okay. Now, this is what you'll usually find when you're talking to other people who are homeowners next door in close proximity in the same street. Now, if you're nervous or a little bit too nervous right now to knock the door, you can either pay somebody commission who has those skills that you don't possess at the moment to start whilst you're building your confidence. They will come in time. Or you can just simply have a well-written, a well-carefully or skillfully drafted letter that you can post to them that sets out your interest and you just send it out in the mail as soon as you see the property available online. But be warned, if you do use the letter strategy, it may not convert immediately. And what I mean by that is it may take until the next relet, which could be in six month increments. So it may be in six months time you can convert that deal, not necessarily now. So let me explain further what I mean by that. If you think you get their details online, which takes three minutes. You send them a letter today. They get the letter when they go to visit the property, assuming they don't live there. Maybe they're going there to do viewings themselves and then they pick up the post, okay? So let's say a few days have passed or even a week and they pick the letter up. All of these days or the time that's going by, the agent is getting closer and closer and closer to closing a deal with their own tenant they found. So if the landlord gets the letter after they've already closed a deal with an agent, then it's too late. Does that make sense? So let's assume that they got the letter, but the deal had already been closed. Maybe a week had gone by. So you've still got their details. You can build a database 
You can still send those landlords and landladies follow-up letters, you know, just before six months' time, just before 12 months' time, just before the 18th month, and just before two years, right? By doing that, you're anticipating when the property may be available again or may be up for renewal in monthly increments. Now, this is positioning for the future just in case you don't get the landlord to call you now while it's available this time. But it's not a wasted exercise. You're building a list, a database of the full names, the first name, the middle name, the surname, the address of the property, the full address, the details of the property, when the property was available. So you can now build a list and a database in any city you want to compile and build up all of the available rental properties, all of the stock in that city, which in time will fill your pipeline, okay? As long as you send the right messages and communicate with them. So remember, using the tools and education that you're learning in this training, you can take a local AST market rent from a thousand pounds and turn it into three thousand pounds using arbitrage, taking it out of the AST market and putting it into the short let market. So you always have a huge margin to play with, which means you can pay more than any other letting agency can pay. And you can pay more than any other local tenant would pay on an AST. Now, all you really need to do is decide how much you want to earn from one of these deals. And when you're in front of the landlord or when the landlord's on the phone to you, make the landlord an offer they simply can't refuse. So they choose you. Does that make sense? Hey, podcasters. Thanks for listening. Please go ahead and share the podcast with your friends. And if you're not already subscribed, Make sure you subscribe so I can instantly deliver my best business tactics and entrepreneurial content to you the second it's released. Does that sound like a good deal?